Using a discount code provided by Roger Lynn Design, Linstrument users can get a 20% discount for GeoSwam Collection 1 and 2. This is a video application note to show you how to redeem the code for the GeoSwam Collection 1 and 2 discount and also how to set up the Linstrument to work with GeoShred. The Linstrument can be used to control the GeoSwam instruments using GeoShred Pro, GeoShred Play Plus Pro, or GeoShred Control Plus Pro. If you already own GeoShred, GeoShred Play, or GeoShred Control, here's how you redeem your GeoSwam discount code. Launch GeoShred and go to Menu Store. In the store, you'll find a Redeem button. Tap on the Redeem button and you'll be asked to enter your discount code. Enter the code and you will be taken to a page with the discount offer. Tap on the button with your local territory price and you will be directed to Apple's e-commerce flow. If you don't own GeoShred, you can get GeoShred Control for free, and you can enter your discount code during the first launch. This QR code will take you to where in the App Store you can find GeoShred Control. Tap on the Get button to install GeoShred Control. When you first launch GeoShred Control, it will ask you if you have a promo code. Enter your code, and then e-commerce is the same as the previous example. Now let's look at how to set up the Linstrument to work with GeoShred. So here's the setup for the Linstrument controlling GeoShred. We have the camera connection kit, which allows USB MIDI to go from the Linstrument to the iPad through Lightning, and also audio goes to a speaker. If you go here and look under global settings, you'll see right here that um, under this uh, column here, the LED is lit up, that's USB, so MIDI is going out through USB. And then in order to configure the Linstrument to be speaking MPE, you go to pre-split settings. And in the first row for uh, channel per note, if you hold this down for a long press, it will configure the whole Linstrument to be speaking MPE. On the GeoShred side, what you want to do is you want to go to Menu, MIDI, and you're going to want to select MPE channel mode. You can also look under the DIN button here, and you can see that there are two inputs for MIDI in, and the Linstrument is the second input. So I have the Geo Tenor Sax set up here to be played from the Linstrument. I'm going to put it in finger MPE expression mode, and I'm going to turn on the growl so that when I press hard, I get a growl. And let's just take a look at what it sounds like. So for the flute, I'll turn on finger MPE, and we'll start out without any overblow, and then we'll increase the expression. <laughs> 